Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning how to make a bee on a crochet hook. Um, and last time in a different video we made a fishtail bracelet. Um, go check that out if you want to make one of these. Um, but today we're making the bee and here's how to do it. You're going to need the crochet hook. Um, two different colors, um, you can have, I'm doing, for this time, I'm doing a yellow and green, oops, and, um, this is what you're gonna need, so, the crochet hook, um, you, uh, the way I do it, is I set it up like this, so it helps you remind me, I'm doing, you're gonna need three of one color, um, six of one color, um, and uh, six of another color, and two either white or clear, or whatever color you want for the wings. And I, I set it up like this. Okay, so you're gonna set it up like three, 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 and different colors, alternating colors, then the other colors, then these two, then one. So first we're, first we're going to start with our hook like this. We're going to take those two bracelets from here in that one color. And on the hook, we're going to wrap it three times around. And we're going to do that twice with the other one as well. Three times around. Kind of push them together just like that. Now you're going to take three of the other color, put them together, and put it on the hook just like this. Now you now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up oops, okay. Oops, you gotta get them all together on the hook. Make sure uh, one doesn't fall. You're gonna pull it up and on to that bit. Then you're gonna push this down and loop all of these onto the hook. Now we're going to do that again with our other three yellow here. And be careful with this one. You might have to do it two different times. Pick it up, put it on the bands, and then pick the other one up and put it on the bands. Now the same thing, just like that. Now we're going to do that one more time with our other color. Be free to pause the video if you need to, if I'm going too fast. And you can always rewind to watch it. Oh my god, I'm going to push this up farther. Okay. No. Alright, I'm going to pause the video for you guys, and when I'm done, we're good. Okay, now that I've done it. It should look like this. And all you're going to do is take that one singular band and do the same thing just with one instead of three. So I'm just going to do this real quick. You might have to get something to hold the end if you want to, if it's too tricky. Or get some someone else. Okay. Now that we've got that, we are going to make a slip knot. So here's how to make a slip knot. Instead of so instead of how to get these two into one, we go, we take the bottom of the two hooks of the two bands on there and pull it up and over and off the hook. Then we pull that tight, just like that. Now we can take this off. Okay, and if you want to, you can cut it off. This is for the stinger. Um, now, um, we're going to make the wings. So, put the bee aside, and oops, take your two whites, and put them on your thumb and your pointer finger, just like that, and on the other as well, on both sides. Sorry for my nails, I'm, they're very bad. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull one and the other together. So like, just like that. You're going to like pull one top and the uh, bottom of the other one. So now it looks like this. With the tag little knot in the middle. If you can't really see it, there's a knot in the middle. Now what you're going to do is with your B, make sure there's no twists in one of the sides. Is through, um, in the kind of in the middle, on the by the head, and the first, and the second one, go through the two top rubber bands on each side. Okay. Just like that. Or you could do a few if you want. Now, on the other side, take one band, one side of the wings, and pull the. Um, you might want to hold it on the other side of your finger. And pull the crochet hook through. And pull like the bee onto it. It takes a second, so I'm just gonna pause the video. Sorry if I'm like this, my phone's upside down. Um, but now I've done that, and I pulled it through with the knot in, inside the bee, and then I just took the crochet hook off. Now you're not gonna need the crochet hook anymore. You're gonna do the same thing how to make a slip knot. Um, so you can put it on the crochet hook if it's easier. So put it like this. And, and now we're gonna make a slip knot through it and put the top one over and pull. And then you've got some wings. Because now to loosen it up to get the perfect wings, you're gonna. Take a crochet hook, put it through that loop of the bee, grab the white, pull it through, okay, I just realized I messed up, but we're going to fix it, so we're going to pull our white band through, and we're going to tie it. So pull our white one through the hole, just like that. Okay, now we're just gonna pull this off here, and I know there's a bunch of other B videos out there. But now we're going to try and adjust, now that we did that, pull it through, and adjust it so the, the wings are on the sides and the feet are here. And like I'll do with this so it doesn't look weird. And there you go. And I just have to like, make sure there's no twist in the other side. And it's not like this one. There you go. <laughs> It's not that good of a bee, but I'm not that well with bees. Check out some other videos if you'd like. Don't forget to share with a friend if you'd like. And comment and subscribe and like the video. And also turn on that ring notification to all. So you know when all of my new videos come up on how to make new, like more bees and stuff like that. So, that's all for today. Go check out some other of my videos if you want to know how to make more. Have a good day. Bye.